For this lesson, you're going to learn how to create a value scale, a color wheel, and a monochromatic scale in Photoshop. To get started, we're going to start by download, downloading the template here. All right, so once it opens, in this lesson, you're going to utilize the shape tools, which are located down here on your toolbar. If your workspace doesn't look right, go ahead and go up to Window, Workspace, Reset Essentials, and it will reset everything so that way your layers are here, your toolbar is over there, and everything is default. So custom, or the shape tools are down here on your toolbar. They're right above the Grab tool. And I want to start by starting with the Rectangle tool. So in our value scale, we want it to go from white to black. And we want to include at about, it should be a 10 step value scale. So to start, I want to set my fill color to white. So over here, I want to make sure this little black box here is selected. And I want to select with this little color picker, I want to have it as white. And then I'm going to set my stroke, which is an outline, to black. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and set my stroke to about, let's set it to one point. So I'm just going to highlight this and type one and click off of it. All right, so I'm going to click and drag and pull out a rectangle. And the reason I put what is called a stroke around it is because this is white. You're not going to be able to see the white step of the value scale because it's on a white background. So the stroke adds an outline that is one point large or like a pixel. And then for here, I'm going to go ahead and start making additional steps. So the easiest way, instead of clicking and dragging out additional shapes, I'm just going to duplicate this first step. So one way to do that is to right click on my rectangle and hit duplicate layer. And when I grab my move tool, when I click and drag out, you'll see that I have a copy. I want to zoom in with Control Plus. Hold down Spacebar so that way I have my little grab tool. And click and drag around. So with the value scale, it's important that you keep it nice and organized. Um, there should not be gaps. They shouldn't be different sizes. They shouldn't be offset like this. They should create created um, so they're nice and aligned. So the second step should be, so with my, my copy, I'm going to go ahead and title this value two. I'm going to retitle this value one. All right, so value two, to change the color, you can grab your rectangle tool again and select the fill up here. And I want this to be, you can see here, this is about like a 20 step value scale. So I'm just going to go up a few steps here. So that way it's just a little bit darker. Okay. So I need to duplicate for my third step. I'm going to right click on value two, duplicate layer. I'm going to title this value three. Hit okay. Grab my move tool, move it over. And right now I'm using my um, arrow keys on my keyboard to do pixel by pixel movements. So this needs to be, so I'm going to grab my rectangle tool again. This needs to be a little bit darker. All right, so right click, duplicate layer, value four. Grab my move tool, move that step over. I'm using my keyboard arrows. To move that just a little bit, grab my rectangle tool and jump up. So right now I have four. This needs to be a 10 step value scale. So I'm going to right click, duplicate layer, three, five. Rectangle tool, change the fill be darker and keep repeating. So then I would do value six, oh, cancel, move tool, 
change the color by going to the rectangle tool again. Okay. So this should be, this should go from one to 10. But I'm not gonna take up the whole entire time because I think you get what to do. Um, before I move on to the color wheel, I'm gonna create a group because here I already have six layers. When I'm done with this entire thing, I'm probably gonna have around 40 to 50 layers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize my layers panel by clicking on this little folder icon next to the new layer button. And this is called a group. So I'm gonna title this group by double clicking on the text, value scale. I'm gonna move this all the way to the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and select value one and hold down shift and select my other values. Holding down shift on your keyboard and clicking on these layers allows you to select multiple layers. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag them inside this folder. So now they're, notice how it's highlighted. They kind of shift over a little bit. When I close up this folder with this little arrow, it closes it up. So that way I can keep myself organized. The next step for the color wheel will be in part two. Make sure you go up and go to File, Save As, and Save to your U Drive. Entitle this Your Name, Digital Color Wheel. Save it as a PSD and hit Save. 